Because do you know what the biggest thing people ask me is, well, I'm an Aries. How do they get along with like this or Taurus or, uh, you know, they all want to know if they should be with the person they're with simply by sign. And it actually doesn't work that way because I think I've said before, like with signs, they're like they're like totally uh, one thing. It's your sun sign, but you, in your chart you have sun signs, you have a moon sign, you have Mercury, Venus, Mars, all the you know all the planets, all the aspects, all the comets. I mean, it's like a whole a chart is a huge amount of information, and you should probably everybody should probably get their natal chart done to see. Um, to see where you know where they fit in that because a lot of times you don't see the sun sign um, <clears throat> simply because there's so many planets in another sign so like you could be like I'm an Aries and I have all these planets in Aquarius and so that kind of changes who I am so but there's never any one sign that should not be with another sign regardless because all it is is about understanding their energy and the fact that that energy is natural to them it doesn't mean if some dude's like whacking you around or you know drinking all night or something you have to put up with that because that's who he is i mean i'm not talking about bad behavior i'm talking about the little idiosyncrasies so let's start with me so I'm an Aries. Aries people, the probably the worst thing we are is impatient. Um, it's the first sign of the zodiac. So the identity of it is, it, I think it says, um, me first. And that's so true. I am me first is their identity. And it's so true because even, I think I've said it before, the point where like Aries people like to get through the door first like I have to literally say to myself don't don't try to jump ahead <laughs> because it's obnoxious you know and uh, Aries people definitely think that everybody should just follow them get in line you know and it's it it's tough when you know you're not always right and you know it's a little hard for Aries people to ever think they're wrong but they do like they can get to that point Especially if they mature a little. There is no one sign that does better with another sign. You just have to understand, grasp, but know how to how to play with their energy. So my la my boyfriend that just passed, he was a Taurus. Let me tell you what. I think God put him on the earth, or the signs, or the spirits, or the universe put him on the earth to teach me patience. The worst thing I used to do to him was finish his sentences. He would like slow down so much and I would be like, uh, like literally anxiety would build up in my body. And I would be like, oh my God, I know what he's gonna say. Just say it for him. But that like took away his importance or, or the fact that I was even listening. And how arrogant of me to do that. So I had to make like a physical kind of stop gap in order to be with that person, <coughs> excuse me, I am really, I'm getting on the other side of this cold, but it's not easy. Yeah, I had to stop myself, like, from finishing his sentences. Because how unimportant are you that I'm going to tell you what you're about to say? Like, that's so shitty. And, like, I literally had to see it in myself. I would, like, look at his face when I would finish something, and I'd be like, wow, I shouldn't have done that. Not, he wouldn't get mad because... Tauruses are very slow to anger, but I could see he was like, oh, like, and that's just who I am is the, you know, person who thinks everybody should follow me and get in line. And I know, you know, impatient. And he is the, the tortoise, you know, it's the tortoise and the hare kind of thing. But once recognized, once I recognized what I was doing, I slowed down and listened. And you know what? He was really a bright guy like he was very worldly and he was very well traveled and very well read and educated he had a lot to teach me who am I 
to be so arrogant and that's kind of where you know astrology helped me because I knew who I am I know what I'm like doing so I just you know that's the kind of thing when people say oh is he good for me and this and you know anybody can be good for anybody as long as it might be a challenge but uh, nobody's bad no one sign is bad for another even though if you read it in the little chappy books they'll tell you that don't believe it so it's just a matter of what you're willing how much you're willing to augment yourself to the other person so I figured I'm gonna go through each sign a day so Aries fiery to have a temper um, but most Aries people have uh, it rules the head and face so they have a scar on their face or their head um, Aries people uh, are rash more than anything they uh, they jump as opposed to like waiting to see they hate to wait to see when somebody says I'll call you and let you know it's probably the worst thing you can do to somebody who's an Aries they also tend to stand around with a gas can in one hand and imagine their teeth and the buildings burning and they're like what happened like they they push that envelope now the good thing about them so loyal like forget it um, they have a very loyal bone they're the ones that'll you know hold on because they're first everybody follow me they also feel like I'll stand in front of the train let the train run me over and you know you'll be fine I'll sacrifice but that can come with resentment like later when they because people can take advantage of their kindness and it's they're not a weak breed of people so if people are taking advantage of them eventually that's gonna blow um, they usually are a huge open book um, whatever's on their mind they say they don't have a big filter and I don't have a big filter it's just unnatural for me to hold back and uh, you have to learn that in time and you know in maturity which is <laughs> the biggest thing I have in my life is not maturity so you learn it uh, you can be very frivolous um, uh, they're not uh, savers they're they don't respect money the way that you know a Taurus does which was a big bone of contention between uh, my boyfriend and I because he's a Taurus and that's all about I own so he totally respected money and I totally didn't I was a spendthrift and still to this day will give away I wish I wasn't like that there's something you know I said in 2015 I want to learn how to save money I you know should have money saved but I, I don't have like a preponderance of money saved but I really should Aries as a rule are generous to a fault um, they are usually really energetic but it's almost like the candle that burns at both ends you have to be careful because they don't get enough rest they burn out so Aries should always be on um, a regiment of you know minerals and whatever you take in the morning kind of thing they definitely should because they don't store things well other than fat yeah but um most Aries are not fat <laughs> by the way most Aries are athletic there's a lot of Aries that are athletes it is ruled the ruling planet is Mars which is the war planet so it does rule like steel and surgeries and guns and music munitions and knives and all of that kind of energy so there is a huge like warrior and they can be edgy um, they can be off the off the normal path they're great leaders that's that's what they do they should manage they should lead their color is red and if you say who's best with an Aries it's supposed to be um, the air signs because everything like kind of in a chart it's like you have air 
and fire is good together, but like earth and fire isn't, which isn't, it's just not true. It's just, there's too many other <clears throat> cold, other factors that go on that, that are in a chart. You can't go by it, but um, they're supposed to be best with um, Aquarius and um, Gemini and Libra is their actual polar opposite. It is the same exact energy on the inside out. I get along with Libra men kind of as friends, but both of my parents were Libras. Can you imagine? Like, like they looked at me like I was a, like an alien. You know, they, they would sleep late. I'm up at dawn. They would be like, why is she up at five in the morning? To this day, I wake up with the sun. Like I love the heat. I love the summer and the heat. I hate the cold. I hate the cold. <laughs> I should be in Florida. And um, I uh, or Kelly, California. I lived there once, but yeah, you always end up home. But you know, my parents are both Libras, and they're like, "Who is this?" Libras care about what things look like on the outside, like the neighbors and the this and that. I'm an Aries. I could care less. Like, it's, it's, I'm never worried about what somebody thinks. It's so hard for me to care about what somebody else thinks. It's terrible. It, it really doesn't bode well for, like, good relationships because I'm like, what? You're an idiot. Forget it. And I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Like, I should not be like that. I should care about other people's opinions. It is very, it is almost impossible for me to care. And I had two parents that that's what they cared about. So, like, any kind of, I should have been put in finishing school. Because <laughs> I was so, like, whatever. You know, Is and I'm still that way. I'm absolutely still that way. If I want to get rid of a person in my life, I just close the door. What's no big deal? I'm I can be alone. It's not a big deal. I'm not like a person. I'm not super sentimental. My children would probably say I wasn't like the cuddliest mom in the world. Although loyalty, like forget it. Go near my boys. I have three boys. Go anywhere near them. I am mama bear in the tree. So I'm quick to like defend and but like cuddly huggy thing well my youngest is like really huggy but but I'm not a huggy person I'm not somebody who needs that like you I'm a show me person and I think most Aries are like they don't look at life like oh yeah give me all the flowers and I was in bed with my well, this a little TMI but I was in bed with my Tarian boyfriend for like I don't know maybe the second or third time and um he's like you know you're beautiful and I'm like whatever like literally that's what goes through my mind when people say shit like that I'm like okay whatever and he's like no really you're beautiful and I'm like yeah okay whatever and he's like okay how about if I say you have beautiful moments so I take my naked ass and pop over the bed and look under the bed and he's like what are you looking for? I'm like literally head, ass in the air, head under the bed. I'm like, I'm looking for the romance novel you're getting all these one-liners out of. And he's like, or, or, or. He was like, that's ridiculous. Like, I just, I couldn't even see myself saying shit like that. Now, I don't say that all Aries do not have a romantic bone. It's not true. But I bet, but they're realists. So, and I, I'm equating a lot to me, but I am very typical Aries. So, um, but they're realists. And so they're like, yeah, you know, that's all nice and good. But show me what you're going to do for me. Or show me how you feel about me in deeds. They want to see it. They want that proof, you know, because I just feel like there's a, um, there's, a, I know it's, they're passionate as hell. But romantic would not be the word I'd use. And Taurus is a romantic. So it was, I had to get used to it. I had to get used to all that fluff, which is not me. But that's what I'm saying. Like I had a successful relationship with the Taurus for very long. And if you look in the books, that's not 
Oh, it's supposed to be a good match. So you really can't go by that. Um, Aries will stay until it hurts them. Because again, they feel like they're the ones that ha are responsible to fix everything. So if you're in Aries out there and you're in a situation that you probably should have left a long time ago, leave because you'll stay forever and waste your life staying sometimes. That's just their nature. They think they can fix it. They think they can, that everybody should follow them, that they're the ones that know best. So if you got the energy, that's Aries. And um, Geminis are supposed to be great with them. Uh, and um, Sagittarius is as well, uh, other fire signs. But, um, yeah, so, um, so you understand the energy of Aries now, or somewhat, um, it's, it's kind of all about them. They're not selfish. They're not necessarily conceited at all. They're more like, come on, I'm the one that knows. And that can put them in a position where they always have somebody on their couch who, doesn't have enough money for rent somewhere or something. They t they're just those people. So now you understand Aries and they can actually get along with everybody if you just understand who they are and what their basic natures are. So I'm going to go through each sign every day. So what is an Aries? You know, that's what I'm going to do. What is a Taurus? What is a Gemini? On my ride to work which probably isn't the best thing in the world. You know what I did this morning? I had two pigtails, like right here. They were like literally that big. <laughs> and they were kind of cute, only I need like lifts in because I can't stand my chin right here. Oh my God, it's so ugly. I can't wait. I'm going to go get like the needles. Look how pretty it is without. See? That's all I need is my chin done. But anyway, um, <laughs> I digress. Uh, I'll talk to you tonight. I don't know when I'm going to get to this candle spell because now people are in my house. Only for like two days. So maybe Wednesday. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know I promised. But I did do the gifting and I did this and I'm going to keep this series like of what is Aries, what is Taurus, you know? So you can understand each person. And then I think I'll go through and say, and who gets, you know, and what is an Aries and a Taurus together? And what is an Aries and a this, like that, down the line. So it should be fun. Um, if you'd like to follow me, I'm here at work. So I got to go in and actually earn my keep. But if you'd like to follow the, if you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, um, hit subscribe. Uh, remember the magic's in you, so go get what you want, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Have a great day.